In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work the type on the path tool feature so you can type in circles. And first thing we're going to do is draw us a circle. And it can be any shape, it can be stars or whatever, but commonly we see it as circles. But it can be any shape that we want. So this is a path. And you can go to the type tool, click and hold down and select type on a path tool. And you'll see your type cursor changes. And it gives you that little swirl in the center that indicates his path. And as, if you, as you see, as it's moving, nothing happens. Like if I click here, it's going to tell you it's got to be on a path because that's what the tool is designed for. So when I float it over a path, you'll see the word path show up that when I click, it gives me the lorem ipsum gibberish font. But there's more that we can do from it with uh, do to it from there. So we'll show you a couple of other things. Uh, first thing we're going to do is let's just get rid of some of this text I'm about to here. When you have it on your type tool selected, I can change the font. I can change the size of the font, just like you know you're accustomed to doing at this point and color of it and everything. But what I want you to really kind of take a look at here is these two little lines. These two little lines uh, help indicate the rotation of the tool, of the words. So when I click on it, you'll see if I float my move tool, because it's not gonna work with the type tool, it works with the move tool. When I float over these, these two little arrows pop up indicating direction. So if I click on this line and then drag, it allows me to move it this way. You see now my line's over here. If I want to move it back, then you know I move it backwards. If the lines go past one another, you'll see this little red square that indicates that they've gone past one another. The text is there, it's just your line is past its original baseline. So if I move it back, then the text shows back up. Now the most common thing that we get asked with the, the text on path tools, how can I put it in the inside of it if I want or change it? Well, that's pretty easy too. If you go up to the menu for type, you'll see type on a path shows up because you have the tool selected. Click on your type on a path options. And then this little dialog box shows up. Right now it's set to the baseline, which is where all the letters meet unless they have a descender, which goes past the baseline. Let's click preview, but that's by default. It's going to align it up to the bottom of your text, but I have other options. I can line it up to, let's say the ascender. And the ascender is what, this is my baseline. And so the ascender is the tops of lowercase letters. The descender, which is uh, like P's and Y's, uh, P right here, uh, it's when it goes past your baseline. So now it's lining everything up to this, the uh, descender. I can line it up to the center. Oops. And of course, the baseline. And that's how you type on a path in Adobe Illustrator.